A lot of people are worried about uh, democracy, the future of democracy, the state of democracy. Part of that's tied to Silicon Valley. Wait, we have democracy? Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, are you? My question is, are you worried about democracy? Where? <laughs> here. Okay. For a start here. Um, I mean, we have, yeah, we have a, we have a sort of a democracy. I, I guess, you know, it, it's, we have a two-party system, which generally means that, like, issues get assigned in a semi-random manner into one bucket or the other, and then you're, you're sort of, you know, so like forced to pick one bucket. Uh, or like there's two punch bowls and they, they both have turds in it, and which one has the least amount of turds? <laughs> it, it, it tends to be the case, if you ask me. Um, so I don't agree with, you know, what necessarily what, what either party does. Um, but I, I, like, I think maybe like a future, people have asked me like, what, what should a, say a Mars society what, what are my recommendations for that? I'd say I'd err on the side of a direct democracy where people just vote directly on issues and the, where the laws, the laws are short. <laughs> like you can read them like, you know, in a reasonably, it's, it's not like the laws, <laughs> like laws, we shouldn't be passing laws that are longer than Lord of the Rings, okay? <laughs> where literally no one has read it. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is insane. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna be scam city in that case, you know? So, um, yeah. So it's sort of a fatalist. Uh, I mean, I, I was thinking in terms of, and Francis talked about the misinformation about our politics and so on and everything else that's spreading across social, the manipulation of information and, how, and the restriction of voting rights and, and our ability to vote and express ourselves as a democracy. Less, that was more where I was going than the kind of, is our government a mess, but. Um, Fair territories. How do you think about that? About our the ability of people to um, get the right information, have the ability to express themselves at the ballot box, and are you worried about that? Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess things are going okay in the grand scheme of things. You know, um, it's easy to complain, but I mean the fact of the matter is. Uh, this is the most prosperous time in human history, so. Um, but people's expectations always adjust to the, the, you know, like however good things get, people's expectations will always um, kind of recalibrate to how things are. But, you know, if we stand back and say like, okay, is there really some point in history where you'd, where you'd rather be? Um, and, and by the way, have you actually read history? <laughs> it wasn't great. <laughs> 